All right, let's go on to the men's 110 meter hurdles. Mikhail, tough one for us again. USA take that one again. Grant Alloway took this one after Ansel Parchment had injured himself in warm up, and Devon Allen had a so called false start. What do you think about this? Rick? Yeah, they always say start on the positive. So, congratulations to Holloway. Finished your title. But, how was it even really... like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to get there. Yeah, Fair he won enough. his race. He ran his race and he won. He can't be held responsible for answer injuring himself just before the race. And Devon Allen, who had the second fastest time of this year, or I think possibly the fastest time of this year, being fast started. So he can only run with who is there. But honestly, these were your two toughest competitors who basically gave you a free passage now because of yeah, technical you, difficult. Yeah. <laughs> all the weight that was on your shoulder is basically, now gone. You are exactly your toughest competitors are no longer in the race. Exactly. Right? You cannot relax enough now to feel comfortable that you are indeed going to win this race because there's no one else in this race that's going to pose really a challenge to you and even back at the olympics that that is what they said happened to him based on the fact that parchment because he was the favorite to win that race and parchment was up on him but yeah people say he's a choker i'm sorry that's what they say (laughs) right he's a choker yeah and as I said, with his two toughest competitors out. Unfortunately for Ant's apartment in the warm-up, injuring himself. It was just weird. Oh, but, I think that got to be the, the, like, the toughest way to really dismiss from a final, in a sense. And people don't understand for track and field athletes, you train for an extended period of time for, for this, this one moment. One moment. A, exactly. a moment that lasts just... 13 seconds. <laughs> And he's just taken away, he didn't get to perform, and it must be devastating, mm. you know? It, and that's why even with Allen fast starting, just he comes the world, world championship, championship is every two years. Year, so and this once is, every four years for the Olympics. So these yeah. chances are very far apart, you know? Exactly. And to train for so long and just like that. Yeah, uh, you gotta hurt. I have something to say about these false starts though. They had three false starts today, and all of these three false starts they had, the runners were adamant that they did not fall start. They didn't feel like they fall start. They feel like they went when they hear the gun. And I am here wondering if this has something to do more with the mechanics or the technology that they are using to start the race, because it's kind of weird that three false start, and these are all three of these fall start is not like none of them are like visible to the eye right they are not visible fall start when like when you watch the race you can't see for sure that that's a person who fall start so i'm curious about that i wonder if they are going to look into that and even devon allen he was trying to run under protest because he strongly felt like he did not fall start yeah because even after they showed him the car and he went back to his block like he was adamant he's not he's not coming out of this race but 